21st century for a changing world in education requires an integration of curriculums to produce a first-class, ultra-modern and innovative schooling system. Welcome to Living Treasures Academy, FAB State, Lokogoma, Abuja, where you find love, peace and excellence all round. A serene environment designed to enhance the development of children through a well thought out architecture that incorporates fun with exciting atmosphere which spices up learning. The founding philosophy of this dream, Leaving Treasures Academy, is premised on creating a cutting edge educational system born of almost a decade of experience. I've been in the education sector since 1984 when I joined the university system as an uh, assistant lecturer. I rose through the ranks up to the level of a professor and thereafter in 2015 I became a vice chancellor of University of Education in Ondo State. Now concerning Living Treasures Academy, the vision came about uh, 2010. Having lectured in the university system for so many years, I discovered a problem in the standard of education. And I discovered that it is not at the university level that that problem can be corrected, but from the foundation level. That is when we can make the correction. And how do we do it? Do we wait for government to do everything for us? So I discovered that I could make my own little contribution in my own way towards the production of well-groomed pupils that will eventually become undergraduates, graduates eventually. And these are the people that will come to administer Nigeria. We complain about state administration, local government administration, federal administration, because we have round pegs in square holes. So we want a situation now that we have round pegs in round holes. And how do we do it? By giving basic education the, what it deserves. And my own concept of basic education starts from the nursery level through primary, through secondary to tertiary education. We started Living Treasures Academy about 2016 with less than a, a hundred pupils. By this 2018, I am happy to inform you that we are about 150. We have about 150 pupils. And we have not only well, admitted pupils up to the primary level, in fact, we have started secondary level of education. We have JS1 students in this school now. We face many challenges in today's modern world, and it is imperative that our youths are equipped with knowledge, character and strength of purpose to navigate such trials. The education of a child must be comprehensive enough to provide the students with leadership skills to excel in all fields. The pioneer head teacher of Living Treasures Academy. Um, this school started about three years ago. It's about thirty year. We started September 11, 2009. 15 and I've been here for these two years and a half doing wonderful things to build up a school with a vision. The purpose of establishing Living Treasures Academy was not for monetary purpose. It was the vision of the owner, Professor Kings. He said he wants to contribute to the educational sector in his little way and he decided to set up this institution. We came here 
We started the school with 50 children, but now we are up to 150. We have a wonderful program, well-packaged teaching program. Our curriculum is Nigerian British curriculum. We also do more of Montessori learning with our children. Our staffs are well-trained, well-equipped, teacher-friendly environment. Our children are the best. Why am I saying so? Each time we take them for competition, they will always make us proud. They will come first, second, or third. And um, we have some programs in the school that is very interesting to our parents. For example, we have some clubs that we call a homemakers club. They train the children on real morals, how to cook, how to take care of kitchen, give them sound education on what not to do at home. You know, we are dealing with children. If you don't advise them accordingly, they may end up doing something else. We have um, from Critch to JS2 presently. By next year, we are going to write JS3 exams. We have equipped these children, and by JS3, we hope that if we are not continuing senior secondary, they should be able to enter into any of the highly placed uh, secondary school in Nigeria. When my mom told me I'm coming to live in Trinidad, I said, I don't want to go to this school. I want to go to Dunami School. But when I came here, I enjoyed it. Send your children to Living Treasures and you will enjoy it. You will love it. Living Treasures is a very good school. The teachers are very professional. Every day I come to this school, I learn new things. Well, I've collected so many awards in this school. I started from, I started from Primary 5 and now I'm in JSC. I want to thank all the teachers. I want to thank all the teachers for teaching me well and making me graduate to JSC. I like my teachers because they are nice and they are very professional. I was in for national mathematics competition organized by Turkish International College. And I came first in my category. I love my school so much. It's a very good school and my teachers are very professional. What I like about my teachers is that they teach very well. They take their time to explain things to you. And my favorite subject is math. I want to be a medical doctor. If you want to spell like me, come to Live in Treasure Academy. F up the Google average. There are many reasons most parents are keen for their children to be part of this co-educational institution, being the best in learning as well as character development. The school is producing a generation of youths with first-class brains, especially in mathematics, who will eventually become tomorrow's leaders, captains of industry and global policy makers. And I am one of the directors of the Living Treasures Academy. Um, I am actually a, a, a born in Nigeria, but resident in the U.S. now. And um, you know, I I was very glad to uh, participate in the Living Treasures Academy because, uh, like um, the other director said, also, um, the, you know, we we determined that there was an issue with the education system. We're also in the education system. Well, yes, I have been uh, to, to some level in the U.S. I, I have instructed, you know, uh, engineers uh, throughout my career in the U.S. Um, of course, I'm now a consultant. I'm not uh, actively practicing engineering as, you know, we know it. So I'm, I'm in the higher level consulting world where I go and tell companies what they need to do, you know, to get their products to be effective. You know, and uh, you know, efficacy to make it. Uh, engineering has to do a lot with mathematics, okay. And um, also, I had uh, a lot to do with crafting of the uh, the curriculum here because we wanted to merge, make sure that whenever pupils come out of here, that they would, if they go to America, they would be able to fit in because they. You know, they've, they've already known and seen and participated in some sort of the American education system while they're here. If they go to the England, they would be able to fit in 
because they've also already experienced some of the English education system. So when we were doing the curriculum, we made sure that we, uh, we sat together and I brought the American education curricula at these levels and we made sure that they all had them in there. It's actually a very fantastic school. I like the way the teachers pay very close attention to the students. Yeah, we see the difference with other schools. I mean, I would pick LA ASAT anytime any day. No, the culture day is fantastic. It keeps getting better. I mean, last season was good. I'm not saying that, but this year was much better. Everybody came more together. The, they're more organized than last time. I'm very sure next year they'll keep growing and they'll keep getting better. And the colors are fantastic. <laughs> Private education is not only crucial in extending the outreach of creativity, it is also substantial for creating sustainable employment and exploring models of social entrepreneurship and educational innovation. The foundation of this school was a was her brainchild. You know, she started this school from grass to grace. Her inspiration about bringing up children, especially training pupils to a standard and quality that you can really get outside. You know, after having assessed assessed um, the quality and standard of education that comes from Living Treasures Academy. You'll be so amazed to bring a child here. That's one of the best. That was one of the first things you notice. Their teaching, their diction, their accent, their—I mean, moral standard—so fantastic. You know, I, I, I for one saw it, and I brought my daughter, and and I'm bringing more. That's just what I say. You know, to compare with other schools I've seen out there, it's a school that is not just a school. It's like a family. It's not just uh, the school like everybody sees it to be, like you want to a, a place where an avenue where you can make money, but just a family. It's something that bestows on love, foundations on God's own bringing. You know, we have class, that's classified um, different religions. We have Christians here, we have Muslims here, and everybody is it's an enabling environment to train up your child. They have everything they want. Wow, I know that these kids are spectacular. You can see them with their different multicultural dresses and their food, their own assembly. Um, I saw one of them, I was just laughing. I was like, can you imagine? You know, these are just, these are one of the cultures we can never live at home. It's something that we we'll live with, we we'll live with for the rest of our life. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's interesting. I mean, imagine how beautiful the whole place. The parents are happy, the kids are happy. They are, they are, they are exposed. Living Treasures Academy boasts of children with survival skills ranging from critical thinking, problem solving, blending across cultures to facilitate inclusion and diversity, agility and ability, entrepreneurship, team spirit, effective communication plus accessing and analyzing information. These learning principles help to make clear the meaning of a whole child in today's world. My husband has been a university don. I have been a nurse, a midwife, a nurse tutor, a pharmacist, an environmental scientist. You know, when I was a child, I taught in the North, uh, second and uh, Sunday school and I brought up a lot of children. I started taking interest in children as a young girl. In my house, I used to have a lot of them, although they were not mine, but I enjoyed keeping them. So when I got married and my husband started talking about having a school as a passion, he has been an excellent man. Uh, a university done with a difference. 
He has written up to almost 200 uh, research papers and he has been a first class uh, uh, student from University of Kotako. She has been uh, the first professor of University of Kotako with the award. So with that, he was always telling me about having a school that can be of standard, a school that the children will be different. So I started nursing. With this, when, when he was sick and he was uh, deadly sick, I just decided, Daddy, what do you think I should do for you? He said, I want to have a school that I can have a passion. The little time I have to live, I must develop that school. So that is how we started working together and make sure the school is started. And since we started, it has been wow, a beautiful experience. When you come in here and see a child that comes in without even talking, before you know it, the child is able to say ma, ta, pa, from crutch, and from there you will be spelling a, a T H E. He will tell you mommy, T H E, the B E B. I became so interested and excited. Before you know it, the child is reading. Before you know it, it's writing competition. And it will tell you, Mommy, that sentence is wrong. Mommy, you are not speaking right. Those were the things that really interest me. And I think we are on the right track. Although I do a lot of other things. A lot, a lot of other things. In, in 10 years time, we are bound to have a university. Wow. Yes, we are bound to have a university in 10 years time. We may not even got up 10 years. Thank you so much, Ma. To university. They tell me everybody's for two minutes. If it's like, oh. And since I'm having a good one, you know what I want to shine my light on. Get your life, 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 get your life
churches women, African women, you work more than gold. There's no like you, my mother, African women, and that what it takes to be a beautiful woman. You make your home look like paradise here on earth. In your future, in all your dishes I taste, you are one in a million. In the bedroom, wow, you are the best. You keep your husband always smiling, and your children never go hungry. What a virtuous woman you are. African woman, you work more than you. You smile more than for us. Let's go. of beauty, the jewel of the land, ancient made you, to me you are pale, the laws among tongues, your pure heart, your offspring adore you, the universe crowned you, for your words are pillars, Malaysia, Niger, Taitu, and we are proud products. From their parents. It is a fact that those students make more achievements in their educational career. Those that get proper attention from their parents than those students who are neglected by their parents. Let me explain some of what I've been saying so far. There are some necessary things which parents need to know for playing their role adequately for the education and general betterment of their children. First point is parents should give more time and attention to their children. Giving attention to your children means spending time with them, taking interest in their activities, guiding them for improvement and refraining them from bad attributes. Second point, parents should spend some of their time with their children playing games. It makes them think that they are valuable beings and they have to do many, many good things in order to impress their parents. Our core curricular program augments the formal curriculum with essential life skills which prepare our children for success. The approach used extends the children's learning and provides them with creative opportunities. Our community of teachers and caregivers are dedicated and passionate about the children Little wonder parents are most satisfied with their children's milestone achievements. Mm -hmm.